Hey everybody, I would like to let you in on a little secret. I was very depressed this week. Gasp! The all-knowing health and happiness guru who's trying to tell you how to be healthier and happier was depressed? Yes, there you have it. It happens to the best of us. And I'm feeling a little bit better today, so I'd like to let you know what I did in order to get out of my little depressive rut in case it happens to you, or if you're feeling depressed right now. Well, first and foremost, I got very vulnerable with my friends, my family, and my coworkers. I let them know that I wasn't feeling all like myself, and that my performance wouldn't be as optimal, I'd be a little bit slower, and I just wanted them to know. So I told them, instead of hiding it and pushing it deep inside, saying I'm fine. Nope, I most certainly was not fine. And I let it be known. And people are usually very understanding when you tell them this. So I reached out to the people that I trust and I told them what I was feeling, what I was going through, and they helped me see the big picture, look at it from the outside and it made me realize that the struggles and the emotions that I was feeling were temporary and I replaced my feelings of frustration and stuckness with gratitude. Which sounds, yeah, yeah, okay, gratitude, but I'm going through some shit right now. Well, whatever shit you're going through, you've got to have some good stuff going for you too. So I focused on that. And I bought myself some little gifts. I did not break the bank. Depressive ruts are not an opportunity to go spend your entire savings on stuff you don't need. I bought a pair of shoes, very similar to a pair of shoes that I had ruined with chocolate protein shake a couple weeks prior. And I was thinking about getting another pair of shoes, but I said, no, no I don't deserve a pair of shoes. You know, I ruined my pair of shoes. It's frivolous, I should save money. But I found a pair of shoes on sale and I bought them. And it made me very happy because it was proof that I love myself and that I deserve nice things. I also went to Ulta today and bought a little, little rose hydration mist. Mario Badescu, if you're curious about that. But just little gifts. So you know that you care about yourself. You know, if you were shopping or at a store and you found something that you think a loved one could use or might like, you wouldn't hesitate about getting it for them. Or if, you know, you knew a friend was struggling, you wouldn't tell them you can't buy a $5 coffee at Starbucks because you need to save money. No, you would say, you know, what is $5 in the grand scheme of things? You deserve a frickin' cup of coffee. Whatever your budget is. Treating yourself is a good idea. And I went to the gym. I went to two yoga classes in the past week. And when you're depressed, the worst thing you can do is sit on the couch and think about how depressed you are. It's the worst thing. So distraction, healthy distractions are key. What else did I do? What else did I do? That was pretty much it. I gave myself a break. I treated myself, and si while simultaneously giving myself a break, I also moved. And I also cut out some of the unhealthy things that I was eating while I was depressed. I tend to go to Cheez-Its. You know, my, my family hoards Cheez-Its. All the added preservatives and, and cheese and wheat does not do well for my gut flora and therefore my mental health. So I cut that out and I started eating more whole foods and that helped a lot. Let me know in the comments what some things are that you do that make you feel better when you're feeling depressed. I hope this gave you some ideas. I hope it let you know that I'm not perfect and I will never pretend to be perfect. I'm just... A regular old gal who is trying to eat better, move, and live her best life. So, let me know in the comments. I hope you gleaned some benefit. And goodbye.